Hi, everybody. This is Tammy Van Hollander, and I am beyond excited to be here with Dr. Karen Fried. I have been following you for so long, and I also have to announce that today marks the one year anniversary of my very first video. Amazing. Therapy day one, where I had no idea what I was doing, and I said, I am going to do a video every single day not realizing how long it would be. And, um, <laughs> so it's been a little while since I've done the video. But Karen, I have, many people have known, have been following the, these the virtual resources, these free resources that you've given us, the, the online dollhouse, the online puppet show, the online sand tray. So I'd love for you to just introduce yourself, tell us a little sure. bit about how this all came about and even your, and the just for now that you are sure. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you, Tammy. Um, one of the perks of having these online apps available is I've had the chance to meet people that I like yourself who are doing so much and early on um, to really contribute to therapists who had so many people had no idea how to transfer an in-person process online. And so it's really a pleasure and congratulations to you for a year anniversary of this because you really thought ahead um, as, as I did. And um, we were talking before and you were saying for your mental health, that was what happened for me too. I, I out of my stress, I said, what can I do that's proactive? Because this is just so... Uh, new and different and a little scary about how to do this work and what all the unknowns. So I wrote an article. Um, I did a session with a child. It's actually a friend's daughter who's wonderful. And I said, is Maya available to just do some work with me? And so she, I did a session on working with using the Violet Oaklander model in a crisis. And that article has since been translated, the last I heard like into 10 languages because it was new. People were so appreciative, I think, that someone had thought about how to just even start with this and how to work virtually. Yeah, I mean, and you were telling me just of how many, follow, how many people, right? Subscribe yeah. to this app. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the app. So first, I so I decided to present this article to the people who I had worked with using Violet Oaklander's model. I do training in her model. She's my mentor. Uh, I adore her. She's 93. So I said, I'll just do this Zoom call. I didn't know how to use Zoom, uh, let's just say. And um, then what happened is I think what's happening for you and so many people active in the, the play therapy community is a lot of people joined from all over the world. Violet's book, Windows to Our Children has been translated into many different languages. And so already there's an international community that all joined this call and it kept going. So March 22nd was our first call of 2020. So we just had our, now we do these calls monthly. So that same person, Kathy Mew, who showed me how to use Zoom, <laughs> like, okay, push that green button that says share. Do you have it? No, don't push leave because that'll disconnect us. So she put introduced, actually, we have projective cards on the Oaklander training site. That was the first virtual um, opportunity to work and share your screen and choose projective cards. And so that really, a lot of people started using that and were so grateful. Then because Kathy had been to my training on sand tray, where we used the actual sand trays, um, she, we said, well, how about if there was a online version of the sand tray? And because she had seen it and she'd seen in my office, I have all the bins of categories. She replicated that. And so I think that's why it's so well received. It, in its simplicity, it's exactly, I think, 
transfers so well um, and just the blank sand. And Tammy, as we were saying earlier, it doesn't matter what your theoretical orientation is with Santray, you can still use this one. Um, and I certainly have no agenda about that. You know, I just like that it's been available to people. I'm going to share it if that's okay. Sure, Karen. sure, I'm absolutely, happy. absolutely. Of I course. pulled them all up. Wait, here's the dollhouse. Let me move here's the dollhouse. The yes, sand tray first. Yeah, so the sand tray, the cards. Ahead. Yeah, and then the sand tray, which is what you're sharing. Yeah, so we have the sand tray. I mean, anything that you want to say in terms of how you use this one? Well, um using um, Violet's model, um, basically what you would give any prompt, depending on your clinical issues that you're working on with the child or adolescent, or many adults have been using this actually in their therapy, and I've been getting some really wonderful feedback about that. So of course it's all ages. Um, and so you would say like, make a scene about how you're feeling right now um whatever you want to do and so the the point is to have as many images for someone to choose as you can as people might have in their office um and you can of course so many people know this they can you can make them larger or smaller you can copy them so you have more than one image you can do a back or front option um and so um you miss the tactile part of it but there's still so much creativity that can go into this and then how violet uses it is that it's a projective experience where you would imagine a scene you would be the various parts of the scene dialogue amongst them make the scene of course make the scene be the scene dialogue amongst the parts and then have a chance to own it um, if it fits for you in your life. That's sort of her model. And I know there's many others that are really so powerful also. Right, you're gonna have me playing on this. Okay. I know, I know. <laughs> I wanna move to, I mean, I've been using all of them. I have to say the dollhouse has been the most powerful for my clients of all ages. Oh, wow, and that's great. So from just the, the organizing, right, of the dollhouse and being yeah. able to, to have control and have control of their world and having teens basically create this entire house that has nothing to do with their parents and it's just theirs or being able to create even their online office space or it's like yeah. when they're doing online schooling, creating their own ideal space has been pretty neat in here. But I'd love to know how you use the online dollhouse. Sure, sure. So I, I love your ideas and I, you know, I'm, I'm learning from everyone. So it can, I even use this with a group of counselors who were teaching premarital therapy um, and, uh, I said, one thing you can do with your clients is you can have the couple each construct, uh, create a dollhouse scene of their childhood home, and then have them create a scene of the home that they'd like when they're married, their mm -hmm. marital home. And then they can talk about the differences and similarities. And at the end of the 10 session process, have them create a dollhouse scene together uh, and um, so that it sort of combines what they would like to see as sort of a, a symbol of their marriage. So that was a, a very um, maybe out of the box um, thing. And I so I had the counselors do it as part of the training and they loved it. And what they learned was so great. So that's just one example. Um, Someone from Italy who was on our Just For Now call, uh, Gian Domenico Bagatin, he's a colleague of mine when, when we get to travel and I go and work in Italy. He, he did a demonstration of using each of the rooms as 
symbols. So um, what he would have liked is if we made an attic there because the attic is sort of the grief and buried things. And then the different rooms represent anger, represent the gifts of your life. And then he had the, the uh, sorry, did I say the basement? Like the bottom level is for the grief and oh, buried things. the attic, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I said the attic. The attic, what he did is have everyone, it was an experience he did on the Just For Now call. He had everyone put a treasure chest and imagine what would be in the treasure chest. And I thought that was just, everyone loved that. That was such a great idea. I've stolen that and used that with my clients. And that's been very fun and, and uh, uh, so interesting to see what, what uh, clients make of that. I also love how you have like the dirty laundry <laughs> and, you, yeah. and you have for the dishes, you have like clean dishes and dirty dishes. And you also have very um, modern furniture, all your furniture. Yes, yes. Well, um, you know, we wanted the dollhouse, like the sand tray, to be as blank of a slate as possible. Uh -huh. And um, so, and um, what's what's really interesting is a lot of people have written and said, can we, can you put this in? Can you put that in? And usually, uh, Kathy Mew, um, my tech person, will find a way to make that happen. So uh, a lot of what first started as a list has expanded quite a bit based on. I'm not going to go through my list because like I had said before we started the video, how I told all my clients that I was meeting you, they all have their <laughs> list. <laughs> they want more rooms and they want different people. All of them have their yeah. list of different things. Yeah, right. But well, no, we'll, we'll take it because we we might offer an option where that is possible um where we would charge for that because the amount of time that oh she's put God. into this but um no matter what we'll always have a version you know with with lots of them that anyone could use for free it's 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 been such a gift okay so yeah. this one is so fun that you just introduced me to especially as play therapists, we love yes. puppets. Yes. This puppet show. And, you know, I was curious in terms of, you know, the, these are the folklore puppets, right? That you, that you yes. have. Yes. Yeah. A lot of them are actually violets uh, the, w because we, you know, uh, on, for the dollhouse and the sand tray, a lot of them are things from free pick. And then we thought for the puppets, we would use actual puppets we're actually adding more but we wanted to get it up because each puppet to do the different controls like the animation hug and speak you yeah. have to photograph them you one it wasn't me um in different positions so that you have them speak or hit right and so it's it's a pretty lengthy process Wow. I, I've learned more. You know how to select all so that they both do it at I, the same time. Yeah, and yeah, you know. Jumping? You know. Yeah, yeah. And then they great. can all be speaking. They can all be speaking. One, one of yeah. my feminist little girls said that there's more little boys than little girls and that you needed to know that. <laughs> uh, well, listen, we've gotten a lot of feedback about diversity and um, for real puppets, I've seen that there's not that many choices. So we're, I've been buying more and uh, we'll, we'll gradually be adding because that's one bit of feedback I certainly want to respond to. Yeah. Certainly. So this, and it's funny because I you know, do a lot of CBT, but when I teach CBT, I yes. have this three headed dragon and uh -huh. I have that three headed dragon to teach that we have our thinking brain, our feeling brain, and our doing brain. So I use the three heads. So oh my of, gosh. My clients know this dragon really well from that. So now bringing yes. it into here, of yes. what, is the, what is the dragon's thought in this particular story yeah. is, is how he's going to feel and how he's going to act and what will happen if we change that thought. So that's it's great. Pretty cool that this dragon. Um, showed up on here uh-huh that's great that's great and i love hearing you know um 
what what I've learned is like the example that you just gave is that with this group of creative therapists, what they've done with this, you know, you like you've taken it and run with it both in a clinical way and then also as someone who teaches others. And it's just, you know, so wonderful to hear. And what I really loved with the, the puppets, especially, I'm not the best with the animated voices, but like, I love having the kids speak and have all the different voices, right? And their yes. different animation and their different voices of it. And yes. I mean, yes, I could go on and on about, you know, the power of puppets, which I'm sure you can too. So the idea of being able to navigate it, and I've been doing this with siblings and families too, and they're all different voices. So like oh, a amazing. puppet show with your puppet show so yes oh that's so great that's I, so great I love it and the kids know like it's part of my virtual playroom and these are often really the go-tos so uh -huh. I'm gonna stop the share for okay here we go that's great but it's just it's been wonderful and I I am not only speaking for me but just Karen so many of us and just so we're at a point of so much anxiety and this just not knowing and having gifts like this. And I mean, free gifts like this too. And yeah. to offering this and to really seeing, it's not just like taking up time, like such healing potential of, of that piece and being able to use these. It's been just such a gift for me. Oh, well, I mean, honestly, that's, amazing to hear uh, truly you know i think to be able to connect and know that that's happening you know sort of helps us all keep going because the the irony of the just for now is that was sort of a mindset of how to think about things um in a crisis and typically you know crisis theory is that there's a beginning middle and end <laughs> and uh, we we're not we may have one soon there is hope right but it's still um continuing and the effects um those of us who are working with children and families will continue to be called upon to do it so um nothing makes me happier honestly to hear that uh, it's been useful to you cuz you do really important work so and useful to so many people. Also, now these the just for now. How can people find out more about that? And aren't there just for now? Do you have a just for now group? Or it's it's. I mean, it's uh, it's not a it's not a closed group, but there are. Um, it's usually about a hundred people. I started it. It was going to be one call, and I talked about one session using the Oaklander model of crisis, and everybody was like writing saying how do i join so i said well i'm not doing anything next sunday so <laughs> we could talk about parents next if you want or i think i did teens i called it the full nest instead of the empty nest because so many uh teen, young adults were moving back into the house uh because of the pandemic and so that was a whole nother dynamic for so many families and then i said well okay and everyone still came and more people so i said well why don't we talk about parents and then i saw the incredible people that were joining and i said well would you want to present from Moscow? Because it would be so wonderful to hear what's happening here. And would you want to present from Panama? And would you want to present from Sri Lanka? And would you want to present from Kenya? And so it's turned into in Italy and um, Bulgaria. And so it's turned into now a series of presentations. Everyone has so generously donated their wisdom and experience um, to present to this group. And um, everyone's furiously taking notes on things. And some people will show, like with Gian Domenico from Italy, will show how to use um, the dollhouse, for example. We've had the sand tray. We've had, you know, different uses of it. And so, um, uh that's then it got exhausting to do weekly now we do it monthly and so um next uh in april we will have um someone from mexico who's a, a mediator for families and a psychologist jackie flynn's going to present 
um, who's just awesome, yeah. you know, another just gem who I've met during this time. Um, so anyway, they can um, email me at oaklandertraining.org or info at oaklandertraining.com, I think. Okay, I will put all of that information. That's fine. Everyone yeah. can find you. Yeah, it's awesome. fun. It's, it's a fun, it's a fun call. One, we had one, a couple, uh, the March call was, or the February call was, we had educators from Sri Lanka, Italy, the US, and um, Nairobi, Kenya. They all talked about their experience with, with children in schools or not in school during this time. That was just really great. Wow. You so. Know yeah, there was, you know, so many hard things of this pandemic, but when you hear stories like this and, yeah. you know, we're all in it together and how it has totally. just brought communities together and it's brought the world together and these resources and you know, we talk about social distancing, like I've never felt more connected to my colleagues and those of us who are just all on the same team doing this work and it's, you know, just a true gift that like, I just hold so dear to my heart, all these, all these connections. And, you yeah. know, I guess, I guess things all happen for a reason. And I'm just, I'm so grateful to have you here today and for Thank you. all of your work. And um, I'm so happy to have connected with you. And Thank you. We will stay in touch and be following all this awesome work that you are doing. Thanks so much, Tammy. And, and right back at you. I'm, I want to interview you next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Karen. Take care. Thanks so much.